For making this, you will need an IR sensor. A two channel relay module. You can use a single channel relay module. I didn't have it, so I'm using this. A breadboard. Jumper wires, a seven seven five motor, so now we will connect the IR sensor to the breadboard. This is the VCC pin and we have to connect it to the positive rail of the power supply. The middle one is the GND and we have to connect it to the negative rail of the power supply. So let's connect it. So now that being done, we will connect the relay module. Connect this jumper wire to the VCC of the relay module. This is the input one of the relay. Let's connect the VCC to the positive rail of the power supply. And GND to the negative rail of the power supply. Connect the input of the relay to the output pin of the IR sensor. Now let's check our circuit by connecting it to the power supply. As you can see an LED is glowing on the IR sensor. You can also hear the clicking sound of the relay. When an obstacle comes in front of the IR sensor, the relay gets activated. You can control the sensitivity of the IR sensor by adjusting its potentiometer. Now you can control anything with this relay like you can control an AC bulb here I am controlling this 775 motor
this is a 12 volt battery pack that I made There are three pins on the relay, normally open, common and normally closed terminals. So now I am connecting a wire to normally open. Connect the negative of the battery to the common of the relay. If you are finding it difficult then you can check the circuit diagram given in the description. So now connect the positive and negative terminals to the 775 motor you can also do the connections through the positive terminal of the battery now let's test whether our motor is working. This circuit has many applications like hand dryer in the hotels or an automatic water dispenser, sanitizer dispenser etc. Thank you for watching, meet you in the next video.